Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly videos for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm actually doing this, uh, I'm doing the readings tonight. Uh, it is going on four in the morning. It is full moon. So we have full moon in Scorpio. And um, a lot of changes, you guys, a lot of transformations, a lot of uh, endings and new beginnings. Um, the message or the energy of the full moon in Scorpio is to conceal or reveal. That is the full moon in Scorpio. And um, we are experiencing a harsh T-square uh, with Saturn in Aquarius and disruptive Uranus in Taurus. Situations can... Um, can hit a boiling point. So my advice for all of you guys out there is try to keep your emotions in control over reacting. Could be experience, uh, could be something that you experience in the next coming weeks um, because we're reacting based off of emotion. So what they're telling you here is there is a need to, there is a need to have control of your emotions only because if we react purely on emotion, which is, you know, Scorpio ruled, um, we can later regret those uh, reactions or what comes out of our mouth. So again, uh, trying to have control over your emotions is going to be key for the next coming weeks. All right, my lovelies, how are you guys doing, Geminis? I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're setting out your intentions for the month of May. 2021. Let's see what's unfolding for you guys for this month. We have the first card that popped out already, which is the Two of Cups. Uh, could represent relationships. Uh, could also represent partnership for those of you guys that are single. Um, let's see. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. All right, let's get into your reading. Your next card is the Hierophant. Yeah, so for some of you, uh, Gemini's commitment or uh, anything that is concerning relationships, partnerships, how you view relationships or uh, what you think of commitment is going to be taking center stage for this month. Your next card is the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, you guys have very strong cards here. The Emperor card. The King of Swords. Justice card. Wow, Geminis, you guys have a lot of powerful cards here. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. A lot of pentacles, a lot of financial stability coming through for you. Page of pentacles, new ways of making money, nine of swords. Okay, so right at the center, we have the justice card. And the justice card does represent karmic energy. It also speaks about deliberating or making a decision or coming to terms with something. For some of you guys, like I said, relationships is going to be taking center stage. Um, this could be internalizing. This could be uh, figuring out what it is that you want moving forward, Gemini. For some of you guys, this could be uh, the situation of kind of feeling like in the past, perhaps for some of you guys, there was uh, the best way of describing it could be that at some point you decided that, you know, marriage wasn't for you or that commitment wasn't something you were ready for or that you were interested in. Um, and this is you, like I said, internalizing. This could be internalizing the relationships around you. Um, there is definitely some type of fear connected to relationships. We have the Nine of Swords down here. And what this is indicating to me for some of you guys, it could be soul contracts that you had or have had throughout your life. This could be your parents' dynamic. Uh, this could be people that you grew up with or people that are around you. 
uh, that were in a committed relationship. There could have been certain traits, certain experiences that you kind of promised yourself not to put yourself in that situation, kind of learning from other people's mistakes. Um, but I feel that with the Justice card and the the Hierophant here, there is there is commitment coming towards you, whether it's you deciding that you're ready, that you're open, or that you're wanting commitment. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be making the decision of committing to someone. Uh, for those of you guys that have been in a long-term relationship um, and there's been instability or there's been like, no progress in regards to the, you know, evolving of the relationship that's quickly going to be changing. Now, what I want to advise for you, Geminis, is to really, I want to say if you come to the understanding or the realization that you do want commitment, especially those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, not in a committed relationship, sorry, if you, you guys have been dating someone for a while, um, I want you guys to really think about it and give yourself about two weeks to determine if you want to commit to this person. Because I see some of you guys saying like, I'm ready, I'm ready to do this, let's do it. And then you commit and then the anxiousness, the stress or the responsibility start to weigh you down. And there's almost like a, a wanting to backtrack or wanting to take it back. But now you feel responsible uh, so again, my advice for you guys is take it slow and steady. Let these two weeks pass by. Figure out where you're at. Figure out if this is the person for you. And if they are, uh, what you feel is strong enough to want to build something on a solid foundation, then you move forward with it. Uh, what they're telling you here is don't jump very quickly because again, emotions could be getting the best of you and you kind of get yourself in a situation that you later regret. Um, for others of you, I do see commitment. I do see engagement for some of you. Um, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, I feel that you're going to be dealing with situations in the family home, family dynamic um, that have a lot to do with finances. So whether it's you, whether it's you that have been experiencing struggles uh, or having financial difficulties, um, that's quickly going to be changing. You're going to be able to uh, stabilize your finances. But the advice here is be methodical in your spending. Um, be smart about investing if you are thinking of investments. Um, make sure not to take any. Make sure not to take any like major expenses that are unnecessary at the point at this point in time. For those of you guys that are uh, thinking of purchasing a home or changing residency, uh, again, I would highly encourage you guys to be patient through this process for the next coming two weeks, if possible. Uh, try to keep yourself away from contracts or anything that is um, basically you committing to something in the long term only because you may overlook certain, certain things that later on become an issue and may actually cost you more than what you initially thought. Uh, so this has to do with contracts, uh, purchasing homes or purchasing your first home or making some type of investment. Um, be smart about it. Take your time, like I said. Um, ideally, after two weeks, then move forward with it if possible. Um, because I do see like uh, unexpected expenses here. However, I do see your finances increasing. Um, so again, uh, very important there um, is what they're saying. Now for others of you, you may be dealing with air, uh, Aries, Taurus, or air energy, um, another Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini like yourself. Um, here's the thing. What I'm seeing here for a lot of you guys is there is almost like a situation that has been brewing or that has been uh, weighing heavy on your mind. And this could be with family members or this could be with even your partner. There is something that is connected to a karmic lesson or a karmic past life experience um, where you're feeling like there is 
almost like a need to finding your okay so i'm getting two different messages for some of you guys you may be dealing with a karmic lesson of taking responsibility or making other people's responsibilities your own and there is a need to find your freedom and when i say find your freedom i don't mean necessarily when we're talking about relationships it's almost like you have a tendency of taking on more responsibility than you should um whether you have kids whether you have brothers or sisters it's like you are the person that they have a tendency of relying on or you're the one that gets them out of a you know out of a pinch out of a burden out of basically saving them or helping them doesn't have to be financial it could be just emotionally supporting them however what they're telling you is you need to address certain things about yourself about how you're feeling about your emotions before you can actually help heal others so there is something that you're refusing to see or you're refusing to work through for some of you guys it could be in connection to relationships um especially those of you guys that find it difficult to uh, either commit or have a tendency of dealing with maybe even people that are married. Um, there is something that is triggering you or preventing you from stabilizing or finding or settling in a relationship. And this all triggers down to something that has to do from your past whether it's a past life or whether it's a past experience in childhood. Um, and and this, is, this could be the full moon in Scorpio that is bringing those energies up to surface in order for you to deal with them now because you need to move on from that lesson. You need to let go of that. Uh, for some of you guys, it could just be the fear of commitment, the fear of losing yourself in relationships when it starts to get, you know, mundane, everyday type of routine there is almost like a feeling of wanting to run away from that because you're wanting to renew the energy or revamp the energy and it is very deeply rooted connected to what those around you have experienced or what you have seen through others experiences i hope that makes sense all right so we're going to be pulling out a major arcana spirits what are the energies that gemini needs to embrace for this month of may 2021 regarding this situation gemini sun moon rising venus what are the energies that they need to embrace the sun card yeah so i feel that for the month of may for a lot of you, especially those of you guys that are single, there is a relationship that's coming through. Uh, this could be a, you may be introduced or you may be meeting the person that is going to be your lifetime partner. For those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, it could be that you decide to take it to the next level and to actually commit some type of engagement, some type of marriage. There is a blessing that's coming to you. And I feel that this is the trigger point of you know scorpio is that of death and rebirth it is the shedding of the old to be able to start or build on something new and something solid so again i feel that for a lot especially those of you guys that have been single for a very long time commitment is definitely coming through relationships and love is going to be taking center stage for you guys in the month of may so i'm going to be pulling out a shadow oracle card to see what is the energy that you need to work through for this month of May 2021, spirits. What is the energy that Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus needs to work through for this month of May 2021? Okay, one more. All right, thank you, spirit. Dynamic, push and pull. So this is exactly what I was saying. I feel that for some of you guys, 
it's you've convinced yourself that you're not scared of commitment or you've convinced yourself that um, you don't run away from commitment. But the moment it becomes ordinary or boring or healthy, I should say, <laughs> healthy, um, you're looking for excitement. You're looking for. So there's a push and pull here. There is almost like when it becomes mundane, when it becomes ordinary, you either lose interest or you have a tendency of falling or dealing with people that are emotionally unavailable or committed in a relationship. And this is a push and pull type of energy, meaning you keep going through this lesson or you keep going through these situations. And what Spirit is telling you with this full moon, you've learned those lessons. Rise to the occasion, Gemini. Release that lesson. Part of a lot of the times when we go through certain situations in our life, we feel like um, we protect ourselves, right? Because we've experienced certain heartbreaks, certain difficulties, and we don't want to go through that all over again. But when doing this, what you're doing is you're kind of reminding yourself of what you've been through in the past. And the past is meant to be let go of so that you can embrace, fully embrace a new beginning. So again, there is a push and pull here. Uh, type of energy of you chase those that run away from you or you like when others chase you and, and this is a self you know self uh, mechanism protecting mechanism that you that you don't understand that you do this on a subconscious level so again it is about working through that understanding okay why am I only investing in people that I feel are unattainable or I feel that are emotionally unavailable. And those that are available to me, why do I feel like I'm not interested? Why don't I feel the pull as strong? And you can correlate or connect that to the past, like I said, past life experiences or what you were taught or how you were taught to be loved. I hope that makes sense. So it's about letting go of this Letting go of this toxic trait to be able to rise to the occasion, to be able to let go of that lesson. You've already learned it. You've already gone through it. It's time to grow up, Gemini, and not in a, you know, age type of defiance type of thing. It has more to do with experience. Stop making the same mistakes you've done in the past continuously. This is a defensive mechanism that you have a tendency of doing to protect yourself. But by protecting yourself and by doing this trait or by embracing this type of energy, you're keeping yourself from true happiness with the sun card. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you some type of insight. I hope it gives you some type of guidance. And I wish you guys the very best. Full moon blessings and we'll see each other soon. Bye.